Perseverance pays off. Life Principle of Perseverance It was the month of June, and the morning was already warm. Nella pedaled her bicycle along the dusty road to the McRae farmhouse. Mrs. McRae was glad Nella had come to watch Rod, Chuck, and little Casey while she went shopping. She gave Nella a list of chores and said, I'll be back by this afternoon. She gave Casey an extra squeeze before she hurried out to her car. Nella started picking strawberries the first chore on the list. Chuck helped. Rod pushed the lawnmower across the grass, and that was his assigned task. The next chore from the list for Nella was ironing clothes. Chuck was to churn butter. He sat on the back porch with a cream-filled churn and cranked the handle round and round. He had to keep cranking until the cream turned to butter. Before long, Rod came to sit on the edge of the porch, too. He was tired, but he had not finished mowing the grass. I'm hot, he said, and thirsty. Now's the time you must be perseverant, Nella told him as she headed handed the boys glasses of lemonade. What does perseverant mean, asked Chuck. It means Rod will need to keep mowing to finish his job, even though it's not easy, answered Nella. He has more grass to cut. Then Chuck ad asked, Do you think I have butter yet? Nella looked at the cream in the churn. No, she replied, It's not butter yet. You must keep turning the handle. You must be perseverant, just like Rod, and continue cranking until the cream turns to butter. Back in the kitchen, Casey called out, Shizwa! Shizwa! What is Shizwa? Nella could tell that Casey was making a request, but she did not know what little Casey wanted. You want a cracker? Nella offered. No, well, Casey. Juice? Shizwa! Casey insisted. Banana? No. For everything that Nella pulled out of those cabinets, Casey responded, No! She was growing sadder and sadder. Shizwa! She said. Finally, Nella reached high in the cupboard and brought down a box of cereal. She asked, Shizwa! Casey exclaimed happily. Chuck came in front of the porch because the cream had at last turned to butter. Chuck said, Nella, I figured out what Casey wants when she says, Shizwa! Oh, Chuck said, you mean cereal? It was nearly time for lunch, so Nella mixed some cookie dough. But when she tried to turn on the oven to bake the cookies, the oven would not work. None of Nella's efforts helped. How can I bake cookies with no heat in the oven, she said in dismay. Does that mean we won't have cookies for lunch, asked Chuck. Nella had an idea. She pulled out a big skillet, put it on a burner, on the top of the stove and spooned in dollops of cookie dough. When the underside of the cookies were brown, she flipped them over just as if they were pancakes. Chuck tried a cookie. Fried cookies taste okay to me, he said. Nella smiled. I guess I need to be perseverant too. Just then, Rod called back from the back door. Come see where a Miggy Pig is. Nella scooped up Casey, and with Chuck following her, she joined Rod outside. There was Miggy Pig lying in the flower bed. There was water gushing from the water hydrant. Miggy was a happy pig. She had shade and a cool mud puddle. But Miggy was supposed to be in her pen. Chuck called Miggy to come, but Miggy stayed in her cool mud puddle. Rod gave Miggy a shove, but Miggy stayed in her cool mud puddle. Shizwa, said Casey as she reached for the little cup of cereal in Nella's hand. To Miggy Pig, the rattle of Casey's cereal sounded just like hog pellets. Rattling in her feed can, she hoisted herself out of the cool mud puddle and followed Nella and Casey and the rattling 
Chiswa all the way back to the pig pen. When Miggy was inside, Rod made sure the pig pen gate was securely latched. Back in the house, Nella washed up and started to fix soup for lunch. She found two cans of chicken noodle soup and carried them to the can opener. She turned the handle of the opener and the can revolved slowly, but it did not open. The can opener did not work. I will have to be persevering again, said Nella, or we will have no soup for lunch. Nella searched the cabinet drawers. She found a utensil that would pierce triangle-shaped holes in the tops of the can. So Nella pierced triangles all the way around the tops of the soup can. Then she shook the chicken noodles out through the holes. As she smelled the soup heating up for their lunch, she was glad she had stayed with the job of opening the can and had not given up. Soon, Nella and the children were enjoying their lunch. They ate soup and some bread with fresh butter that Chuck had churned, and they had fried cookies with strawberries from the garden. You know, said Rod, you're a pretty good babysitter. Nella smiled. Thank you for the compliment, Rod. She was glad that Rod and Chuck had persevered. She was glad that she had persevered, too. The lawn was mowed, the butter was churned, Casey got her cereal, and Nella served lunch in spite of the difficulty. Perseverance pays off, thought Nella. But just then... They heard the sound of water gushing. They rushed outside and there was Miggy Pig, back in the flower bed. She was rubbing back and forth on the hydrant to turn the water on. Look, said Rod, pointing toward the pig pen. The gate was standing open. Nella said, Miggy has discovered how to nudge open the gate latch with her snout and how to rub on the hydrant in order to turn on the water to make herself a cool place on a hot day. I guess we're not the only ones who are able to practice perseverance. And they all laughed. <laughs>